when a narcissist rejects you. These narcissists have a mental illness. Many of them have no job. They're living at home with their parents. They would be nothing but an inconvenience in your life. But many of us are empaths. Many of us are good people. And we see it as an opportunity to help someone. And that is our idea of a relationship. Improving someone's life. Even if they have nothing of value to provide to us. Even if they're not physically attractive. Naturally, you would assume that they would be more receptive to you. You would assume that they would be more inclined to receive. But no, narcissists who are unattractive do not get much attention in real life. They might get plenty of likes on social media or on dating apps. It's very easy for them then because it gives them the ability to make themselves look more attractive than they actually are. And there's plenty of desperate people on there who are also lonely and looking for attention. But if you approach a narcissist who is unattractive and overweight in real life, they are going to take great pleasure in that because you are giving them your energy in real life which is more potent than a thousand likes. When you approach a narcissist in real life, they're going to think they're superior. They're going to think they're as good as it gets. And because they rarely get approached in real life by someone like you. They're just going to take the opportunity to reject you. And they're going to do it in a very cruel way. They may even go on social media. And tell everyone about how they rejected you because it feeds their ego and supports their false image. It makes them feel like they're special. It makes them feel like they're better than they actually are. When you approach an unattractive and overweight narcissist, they will always overdo their reaction. They will blow it up out of proportion. Deep down they know they're not someone that would be considered attractive or desirable. So they have to make it seem like they're being approached by so many people, as though so many people want them. So in the rare case where someone actually does approach them, they're going to exaggerate it. They're going to make it seem like it's more than it actually is. When you approach a narcissist, they're just going to frighten you away. Because deep down they know they're not deserving of you. Which is why you should never try to date someone who is narcissistic. Because they're just going to create a disturbance. They're going to act out. Because deep down they know you don't really want them. They know they're not attractive.
I'd bet that most of you who are watching this felt that when you met the narcissist, in the back of your mind you knew that you deserved better. You decided to give them a chance when you should have listened to that voice in the back of your head because it was telling you that something was wrong. But when a narcissist rejects you, it's because they know that something is wrong. They know you don't really want them. They know that you can do better. They know that even if they accept your proposal, it wouldn't last long. Because at some point you would realize that you deserve more. So although it may seem like they're rejecting you, they're actually rejecting themselves. Because they know they're not up to your standard. They know that you can do better. And they're not used to being approached by someone like you. So when you do it, they're just going to look at you like they're better than you. And then they're going to go on social media and tell everyone about it. Because they know that it's going to benefit them more to reject you. Rather than to accept your proposal and give you the opportunity to realize that they're not what you want anyway. Which is why you should always pay attention to the red flags. Listen to that voice in the back of your head. Avoid people who seem narcissistic. Date people who you think are better than you. Because they're actually not better than you. You just think that they are because you've been around narcissists who have led you to doubt your value. You've been around people who had to elevate themselves at your expense. So you think you're not deserving of anything more. Which is why you settle for people who are narcissistic. When the truth is that you do deserve more. And you can have more. It all starts by believing in yourself. So stay away from these types of people. They're not going to be receptive. They're only going to take the opportunity to reject you. But even if they did accept your proposal, you're going to be involved in something that's less than what you truly deserve. And they're going to pick up on that. And they're just going to put you through hell. They're going to make your life miserable. Because deep down they know you can do better. And it's just going to make them very insecure. They're just going to play games with you. They're going to act out. They're going to give you the silent treatment. Because deep down they know they're not good enough. But when you meet someone who is secure in themselves, they can recognize your value. They can go with the flow without feeling the need to play games. While these narcissists already know they're not good for anything. So they're just looking for attention. They're just looking to use you to elevate themselves because they feel like they're not good enough. Which is why you need to stay away from them because they're only going to make you feel the same way they're going to reject you in a harsh way. And then they're going to tell everyone about it. How a person feels about themselves determines how they will treat you.
Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.arcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.